I want to share my experience was like using the Bimmer Code app to code the BMW i3 with a range extender in order to increase the fuel tank capacity and allow the use of the uh, hold state of charge function. Currently, this is what the car looks like without either feature enabled. I already have the Bimmer Code app running and I have it connected with the uh, V8 brand iCar system. I went with the Bluetooth model. Um, supposedly it works with several different OBD2 connectors. Just check with the Bimmer Code site. It should give a list of accepted units. In order to get these features enabled, there's two things specifically we're going to be looking at. There's uh, with an item within the head unit we need to change, and then within the instrument cluster as well, uh, there are some settings that need to be tweaked with there. First, within the head unit, we'll click that. It'll read information from the head unit itself, and after some time, we'll populate a list of things that can be adjusted. So there are two modes with the Bimmer Code app. There's the easy to use interface, and then there's an expert mode, and what the expert mode does is show more of the actual folders that are present within the system. If you know what you're doing, you can use this. In this case though, the necessary page we're going to has been already provided for us, range extender menu, we can set this to active, exit that, and then we can code it. So now it's actually preparing the code and it's going to load it through the OBD2 port. Head unit has turned off as the code is being written. So it'll take some time for it to get back up. Should see the screen come up any minute now. Have the notification that the ECU has been reset. The there it is. So the ECU for the head unit has been reset now, and as we see, we have the range extender menu. So once the car is down to 75% of its uh, battery charge, this option to hold the state of charge will be available. Um, so that part's available now. The other piece of the puzzle here is within the instrument cluster menu. Within the instrument cluster menu, scroll down to the bottom here, increase electronically limited fuel capacity. We can click this, set it to active, and just like before, code it. So now we'll see this screen go off and come back on. Throw some, it'll throw some error codes completely normal yep get a notification that the ECU has been reset and it's going to tell me to reset the time and date the other way to accomplish this task is to go into the expert mode and then there's three things that you're looking for uh, within the 3005 tank tab. We're going to set the tank leader rakes or whatever that's called. <laughs> Pardon my German. Um, this guy here. We're going to set this to MCV Rex Leader KL Rex. 
which it already has been from the automatic or the easy menu mode of this. The ohm rakes, tank ohm rakes right here. This one we want to have it set to MCV Rex Ohm KL Rex as it is already. And then the last thing is the tank volume uh, Angzies, whatever that means. So here you can set the uh, liters. So it's set to 8 liters, which I think technically 9 is the actual size of it. However, I'm not about to enter a custom value to change that, so uh, I'll leave it as it is. Actually, 8.5 might just work just fine. We'll try this. Nine liters comes out to 2.4 gallons, but for some reason, Bimmer code has that function set to eight liters instead. Here we are. Comes up again. Get nice warning messages. Date and time get reset. Yep, yep, yep. Go ahead and fix that. But the code's been complete. Turning off the car and back on again seemed to do the trick. Now it's reporting I have 99 miles of range on the range extender and I have used some gas already. So that's a brief overview of the Bimmer Code app. Uh, working on the BMW i3 with a range extender. Uh, I think this has been a good experience. Very easy, very straightforward. One of the nice things about this app is that it does automatically create backups so that in the event you uh, need to reset it for some reason if something goes wrong or you, know, you need to bring it to the service shop and you're worried about um, voiding your warranty, you know, good to bring it back to its stock form using the backups menu.